Uh, the thing that's I see some schmucks in the comments. Yeah, yeah, there are. There are that I see. That I see. There, some, there, some are keyboard warriors. <laughs> huh? There are definitely real, comments real of strong, all types. Right? Yeah, yeah, they, they all look different, huh? Are you gonna show up? Yeah, if I see them in the street. Yeah. But they never get to see me in the street. Uh, so they it's like, stay behind their keyboards. Right, right, Mark. Try not to get. Hey everybody, welcome back to Joey the Dad podcast. This is podcast number four. I'm your host, Anthony Internets, and today we're excited to welcome a new character to some, but for uh, others, you might have seen him in the neighborhood, Salvatore Nochi. Welcome, Sal. Yeah, how you doing? Can I call you Sal? You can call me Sal. You can't call me a character, though. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to I say. Mean, I'm a character in some circles. I meant a new character to us, like the new person. I uh, I brought you some intimates. Uh, well, actually, I can't. I have, I have a gluten allergy. I can't actually have this. I'm sorry. A gluten? What? Uh, what's gluten? Uh, it's like a wheat protein. Some people can't eat it. I'm one that's of those. A, that's a real thing. Or yeah, yeah. I didn't. You mean went to, to a doctor for that? Uh, yeah. He said. Come on, have a donut. And you can't be. Uh, you know, the, your, your guess is being hospitable. Uh, I'll give them, I'll share them. So what do you do when you go to someone's house and they got desserts? You eating celery? You have coffee. All right. So Welcome. it's just some type of uh, like those millennial podcasts where we're going to be talking about what? So we're, uh, this is the Joey the Dad podcast. We're going to be, uh, this is for fans of the show. We watch the show. We talk about the things that happened this week. Uh, have you seen the, the show at all? No, I don't watch. I don't watch myself. You don't watch it? No. Nah. But you're aware that. And they warned me. They warned me that there's going to be things that get swayed. There's going to be things I don't want to see. So I, I ain't bothering myself with that. But, but you're aware that there are cameras around filming and everything. <clears throat> yeah, right? yeah, of course. I all mean, right. who was, even in real life, uh. Uh, real life, um, we got cameras on us all the time. So the people at home. You don't think you're walking through Times Square? You think there's no camera on you? The people at home, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean, like security cameras. But um, I see uh, the thing that's I see some schmucks in the comments. Yeah, yeah, there are. There are that I see, that I see. There, some, there, some are keyboard warriors. <laughs> huh? There are definitely real, comments real of strong, all types. Right? Yeah, yeah, they, they all look different, huh? Are you gonna show up? Yeah, if I see them in the street. Yeah. But they never get to see me in the street. Uh, so they it's like, stay behind their keyboards. Right? Right, Mark? Try not to get very heated because some of the comments I, I don't do. get heated, my dude. And so people might not be familiar with you yet. You're Mills. Uh, are you, do you call yourself Mills boyfriend or just friend? I mean, I'm or? in my mid-50s. So I don't know if you want to but call me a boyfriend or not. But uh, You're not her yeah. husband. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. No, 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 I'm not, never getting married again. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'd say I'm her boyfriend at this point. So, if you want to call it that. All right, so that's mid-50s. cool. Uh, Mill is one of the fans' most requested characters. We get lots of comments from Mill each week. She's kind of like one of the stars of the show. You you know about this? I know a lot of people don't like her. Which they don't know her, but they don't like her. Well, that that's good. So you can. So you're you're passionate about Mill. Oh, I'm super. I love her. So passion don't describe it enough. Some of these comments might not be easy. I just can't to, believe you're not really gonna have a donut. You really got this gluten shit. Do you want? Do you want one? No, I don't want no. I had a donut on the way. I can I can share it. Oh, the I, crispy gonna, cream. I'm not gonna have. I can smell it. Do you want me to smell one of the donuts? I just think, uh, you know, back in when I opened my pizzeria, we weren't worrying about. Uh, you know, I I got people coming in with the gluten allergies and all that, and. Uh, I'm not making you a separate pie. You know, I'm not, you people. We're you not, people. We're not, uh, you people. Well, think about this. We're um, not doing the separate pies for you. It's not going to kill me, but it will make me feel really sick. Yeah, That's make your stomach happening. a little upset. Uh, have some Tums. That's what we did back in the day. Well, if you were if you were Gordon Ramsay, I'd, I'd probably get sick. But. Uh, Gordon, don't even get me started on Gordon and his stupid restaurants with the little pickles in the middle of the plate. I just don't feel like... Uh, being agitated at the moment yeah are you, uh, do you need long to take a past break? me no nope. just started all right so uh, i'm working my pizza really uh, 12 hours a day no breaks these comments may not be easy sal so if you, if, you need to pass, easy. if you need to say i'm not talking about this that's totally fine yeah don't don't worry about that 
Um, I'm, a, I'm an open book. I ain't hiding behind keyboards. I ain't saying, you know, I got nothing to hide. You ready to dig in? Yeah. First comment of the week is from Ashley on YouTube. She says, "Look at that profile picture." <laughs> Well, she's a cutie oh well maybe maybe don't she's a real cutie maybe don't objectify the the viewers sal let's let's so start to, you know back in the day you know you get cat called it used to be a compliment well it's not back in the day anymore yeah no we're all aware of that can't say nothing today can't pay someone a compliment wait sal people are going to be watching this yeah so what i want her to know she's pretty aren't you worried that they'll be offended Offended what? I'm calling her pretty. Well, because she didn't I'm not ask. not saying she's ugly. She just didn't ask. What's her name? Ashley? Great name. Yeah. They don't call people Ashley anymore. They call them Noof. So Ashley says, if I'm not mistaken, while Joey was on one of his rants on the first podcast, he mixed up their names too. Thank you for defending me, Ashley. This is about, you know, you have you met Joey yet? No, I have not met. Uh, that's my uh, middle son. I haven't met him yet. Uh, so Joey got the his baby's mama's names confused. Yeah. Once. And then I did it. And then he went and started a campaign to get me fired because I messed it up. But Ashley's here to point I, out. I can't comment on nothing that Joey does, but I would say this. You know, my grandmother used to mess up on names all the time. We were lucky if we even got looked at. It was an innocent mistake. It won't happen again. We, we yeah. all know better now. Names and names. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Next comment. No from, profile picture there. From Kelsey. <laughs> When you put your life out for everyone to see, you have to be ready for people to make comments on it, good or bad. Yeah, exactly. You can't have to, you can't have a what you call it, soft skin. You can't have soft skin. If you're gonna be on camera, you gotta be able to take it. You gotta be able to dish it out. You know. You gotta be tough. A lot of these people on the show, they get upset by the comments or whatever. Come at me. Come on. If well, you, I've been doing uh, 55 years of this. The people saying, you know, this and that about me. If you're gonna you know, be dumb enough to go on camera, you gotta be. If you're tough. gonna be dumb enough to to write write something online, yeah. What are you going to do? Appreciate the comment, Kelsey. Lisa on YouTube. This podcast is highly entertaining. I never laughed so much, but at the same time, shaking my head. Thanks. Hey. Well, you didn't see nothing yet with me. <laughs> nah, it's entertaining, right? You rock, Lisa. Hey, bring the big storm bowling. Hey, um, you, have you ever done anything like this before? Big sip. Big sips. Nah, I've never been on a podcast. Usually, uh, people like me don't talk about things. Yeah. We don't, we don't air things in a uh, public light, you know? Why? Why is that? Because everyone's got their... Uh, I was raised, you don't, you don't put your business out there. You know, it stays behind closed doors. You know, you go to work, you shoot the shit about the, the, de the, the Mets and the Yankees. Um, you talk about the guy that didn't take his, his, his uh, trash out the right way. You get, Complain about your neighbor, but you don't air things. You don't air things about your family like this. Okay, I think I understand the mindset. You're, I'm you're... here to defend Mill a little bit because, you know, the comments don't bother me. You can say whatever you want about me, you know? But you get it. We're, we're looking at these comments. This is fun so far, right? Yeah, yeah, but... Um, it's gonna, yeah. You know, when you talk coming. about my woman and all that, you know, I don't think she... I don't think she defended herself enough. I saw her episode, and I think she was diplomatic. You know, I think she held back a lot. You know, she was sitting here uncomfortable. I don't appreciate how you made her feel uncomfortable at a lot of the times. What did I do? What did you I do? You sat here with your smarky millennial bullshit, and uh, you made her feel like uh, an old woman who, who, who set in her ways and all that. People don't like that she, she raises a family in a certain way. People don't like that she, she has her ways. She set in her ways. And, uh, you know, you people Set. in your generation, your gluten-free allergy and all that, you, uh, you, you disrespect the elders. So I'm here to defend her a little bit. Not to get heated. Sal, you're getting very heated. These are the good comments. Because it's, 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 it's uh, you know, we, we were raised a certain way, and then you people come into our homes, and you try to change everything with your gluten allergies. You know, my, my grandmother will put donuts on the, the thing. If you, if you told... That's perfect. Yeah, hold on. What's up, Chelsea? Ooh. Yeah, sorry, Salvatore. We're having a bit of a problem. What's the matter? In the pizzeria? Yeah, the pizza oven's not working. You told Angelo? Wait, you you're going to take hey. a call? Yeah, he said to call you. He doesn't know what to do. All right, he knows what to do. He's playing dumb because I'm not there. Tell him I'm, I'm doing a podcast or whatever. He really doesn't know what to do. Okay. 
yeah, Chelsea, you're not listening to me. He knows what to do. The oven didn't start last time. He knows to call the guy. The, the number's on the side of the oven. You hear me? I guess I'll try to talk to him. I don't mean to be sure with you, all right? Well, you wearing the, uh, you wearing the short shorts in February, March by the cashier register? Not today, Salvatore. I don't think that's going to help us today. Uh, I'm surprised. We all know you like attention. Should, you should have worked at Hooters instead of my pizzeria. Yeah, you got the chest for it. Nah, nah, don't talk like that, sweetie. What is this? All right, I'm going to let you go. I got this uh, gluten-free freak All talking right. to me. All right. I'll call you with an update. All right. No, d he knows what to do. All right. You know, I'm, I'm not in the pizzeria for, for one hour out of the 12 hours. Sal, catch us up. What what is what was that? What is going on? I, I'm uh, told people. If you run a pizzeria, you know people like to play dumb. When you're not there, they they don't want to work. So you got one oven down that lets pizza to make. He knows what he's doing. He's gonna get his ass kicked when I show up. Sorry about the phone call. Yeah. Do you need to take a break? Nah, I'm good. All right, are we back. Yeah, I need. Uh... Nah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Take a breath for me, please. They take advantage of these cashiers, let me tell you. You know, she's uh, she's in, in school for nursing, you know. She's pretty and she's smart. And, uh, you know, I know she's not going to work in my pizzeria forever, but she would have gotten more money at Hooters. Let me tell you that. They don't tip in my pizzeria. Let me bring you back uh, in. The Grubhub and the Ubers and all that. You know, a lot of the money goes to them now. We were talking about oh, Mill shit. before, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's bring it, let's bring it back to Mill. Um, how did you guys meet? Uh, she walked into my pizzeria. Um, she seemed a little down on her luck. We started to talk about, uh, how our grandkids were taken away from us. And I don't know, that struck a chord with me because, um, I know for a fact you don't got no grandkids. No. So you don't know, um. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know what it's like to not be able to see, uh, again, this generation, they see us act a certain way. They're not happy with how we're acting. They don't like our rules. And they think that, uh, okay, we don't got to see them no more. We don't. It's one thing if your kid don't want to see it, but then when you start taking the grandkids away, it's... Uh, this is why I was surprised when you said I'm that. i turn my sound off. Thank you. I was surprised when you said I treated Mill badly. I, uh, can you elaborate on that? I didn't understand that. It's I don't want just you to feel a, a certain like, smugness. We all know what uh, what side you're leaning on here, and we know what uh, political agenda you're trying to push, and you're trying to push all the old people out the door. You don't want our policies anymore. You sit here and uh, you demonize us when we should be... Resp she, you know, I can't speak about me being on the show for a long time, but uh, she's been on the show from day one and she just deserves a little bit more respect okay yeah uh if mill if you're watching this i didn't mean any disrespect um i try to come at this from a very neutral place just to be fair because this i really see this as their opportunities and i thought that mill had a really good opportunity to explain herself and that the episode went really well i thought episode two was was they got uh, to get bad at uh perception i don't think you know your own perception yeah and i don't think that this is uh the thing for you you know what I mean? So uh, a lot of, uh, young guys like you, I, I say, uh, in a, I say it in a, a helpful way. I tell a lot of guys in my pizzeria, you know, the sanitation test, it's opening up, and you get a pension. It, it's. I'll I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sal. Um, you ready for the next comment? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, ex, What's with all these uh, no profile pictures? Huh? Ex Sanrio says, "I love these. Gonna definitely be listening during my newspaper deliveries tonight." A newspaper? Haven't heard that in a long time. No one reads the newspaper anymore. That's nice. That's nice. We we love that you watch Sanrio. Thank you. Listen, some of us are listeners. Some of us are watchers. Julianne M a says, "Doll, sweet doll." Please don't. <laughs> uh, you're getting a little coy on me here. You know, when it, we want to make this, uh, you know, don't don't be uh, 2024 Twitter here. Julianne M says, respect 100. Thank you, Julianne. Uh, and Amanda 7113 says, they read my comment. Thank you. We're reading it again, Amanda. 
Keep that's sending nice. them in. That's nice. We'll read them. Sweetheart. Yeah, very nice. Thank you for watching. Ruthie, have you met... Are you familiar? Here, well, let's read the comment first. Ruthie says, Nanny Agatha is a real OG. Have you met Nanny Agatha? I have Agatha? not met Nanny Agatha. Um, uh, you know, not, I've heard things about her, but I think that a lot of uh, my girlfriends, weird calling a 55-year-old woman my girlfriend, but, um, you know, a lot of her mental illness, which is what she suffers from. I, I truly believe that. Uh, and I'm here to help her for that, you know? You need to help people instead of demonizing them. You need to, to reach out when people are, you know, uh, act in a certain way instead of uh, belittling them. But I think, excuse me, I think a lot of, uh, I think a lot of Mills' problems come from her mother and a lack of uh, love, whatever you want to call it. And I don't think, uh, you know, you, you, you all think it's cute. That Nanny Agatha's a certain way, you think this is the godfather or something, but this is real life. And the way that she treats her daughter is unacceptable, and that's why she is the way that she is. I like the purple hair, though. What's her name? Ruthie. I'm Ruthie. Enough. Yeah, nice name. Thank you for the question. Love the purple hair. Thank you for the comment, Ruthie. Um, so a lot of the fans are, and myself included, we're really concerned right now because Nanny Agatha is currently missing. We don't know where she is. Uh, I don't know if you know from the future if that's resolved itself, but at this point, do you know anything? Back where I came from, when cases like that happen, people go missing, uh, someone's lawn gets littered on or something. I know nothing about that. Do you seem like... If, they're, if, they're, if it's anything uh, insinuating a crime, if, it, if, it, if the police were called, and I don't, we don't do that. I you know, we don't call that in my pizzeria. We don't call the police. I hope she returns. From what I heard, it's dementia, and that's it. I have a feeling. I, heard, I, I hope her dementia gets better. That's that's all I have to say. Dementia's a, a a bitch. Yeah, I have a feeling like if you knew, you probably wouldn't say anything anyway. You seem like the type of character to 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 not. You, it's none of my business. Yeah, I yeah. know dementia's a. You know, my grandfather. Um, he. Uh, Guy was a, a high school athlete, wrestler, yeah, uh, firefighter for five years, and um, he was a wrestler and a firefighter. Wrestler in high school, firefighter in his like twenties for five years. Um, firefighter for five years, yeah. Uh, I won't get into that. And uh, you know, in his late seventies, we find him in the library, no underwear. So that's dementia. So I think you know you can all say Mill kidnapped her, this and that, but dementia's a bitch. Yeah. We'll go to the next one. Jessica Lynn on TikTok says, Julia, go Beautiful smack family, Jessica. I love seeing families like that. You know, it's the ones with the family say, say positive things. It's always the ones that are sitting there with their dog with half their jaw in the picture that's that have to say nasty shit. Nasty people. Uh, Jessica says, Julia, go smack the smarts into Joey for Miranda. I don't know who Julia is, um, but uh, hey, I got nothing wrong with this. They got an opinion. That's that's okay. You know, smacking. I think more people need the, the smart smack than them. You never take. You've never taken the sanitation test. Uh, I actually, yeah, I have. You've taken. You didn't. Uh, I was like number one million on the list. So they didn't call you. No. But you passed it. Yeah. All right, because, brother, you don't pass that test. I don't know what you're doing in life. <laughs> I, Even I, in my pizzeria, the guy, some of the guys passed. If I hear they didn't pass that test, or they didn't even pass the uh, the cop, the ticket writer, pe nah, you're not working for me. And you're not going to know how to, to mold dough. Well, I'm happy. I'm a professional podcaster. This is cool. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll go on to the next. We'll go on to the next question. Kate Culver on YouTube says, "Mill is really going to act like Nanny Agatha's money is hers to throw out." Uh, now we're getting into the spicy comments. I ain't no rich guy, okay? You know, my pizzeria, it's not lucrative, but it gives me enough money to give give out to to have a good Christmas, to buy a dessert on an occasion or whatever, meaning I could give my kids money. I could give my grandkids money. So in my point of view, your parents are there to supply you. All right. So for Mill to look at her mother's money like that, 
I have no problem with that. As a mother, that's what you're supposed to do. That's the least thing you can do. So you're familiar with Nanny Agatha's money, but not Nanny I've heard. Agatha. I've heard, but uh, you ain't going to take that money to the grave, my brother. AJ on YouTube says, Mill once again shows us why she's the original villain of the story. My mother had dementia. It's a horrible thing to watch a loved one go through. For her to use that to cover her own heinous acts makes me sick. I think uh, no one, not one doctor has been involved in uh, the dementia stuff. This is all Mill um, assuming, thinking. And, and, you know, from what I heard, she's pretty pretty certain that her mother has dementia. So I don't know why you're making it seem like she's making this up. It's a little disrespectful. Uh, you, you're watching someone's family. You don't know the full details. Who knows what Mill has seen in terms of her mother's health? That's a personal thing. You know, again, when I grew up, we, we didn't even acknowledge that, uh, you know, when my, my uh, uh, you know, my, uh, when we found him in the library with the no boxes, all right, we just said he was goofing. We don't tell people that he had a dementia. You know what I mean? We don't talk about things like that. That's a medical issue, you know? I you know, I know uh, you said what you said about your stupid donut fear, but um, <laughs> like I'm not going to leave this podcast and tell everyone in my pizzeria that I met a guy who can't eat donuts, you know? That's your personal shit. I mean, like technically I can eat them. I would just feel really sick after. I, it seems like a complicated thing to me. Victoria? on YouTube says, why does he believe his mom after everything? She's talking about Joey. Dude, what is actually wrong with you? Can you not see her lies? That's an outstanding uh, outstanding uh, profile picture. Just um, know, guys, if you leave a comment, Sal will... I hope will, you have a relationship. He will be looking at your profile pictures. Um, look, a son's loyalty to his mother is like nothing else. You know, and I like to see that. And uh, anyone who has a problem with a son believing his mother, being loyal to his mother, I hope you got a good relationship with your own. Thank you, Victoria. Mama Shelley says, where did she put her? Damn you, Mill. My, my Mill, uh, I don't know her long, but I, I can't picture her hauling a body into a trunk or, or anything like that. Um, or the back of a car or... Or a closet. Uh, I you don't just know. Pause there. You said something really interesting. She probably couldn't lift Danny Agatha. I don't recall. Herself, I right? don't recall what I said. Okay, so I guess we're so, not gonna, um, we're not going to get anything there. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think. Uh, I don't think Mill is cap. You know, you mistake taking care of your family. You mistake certain behaviors as uh, passing it off. It's that capable of murder. Nah, that's ridiculous. Molly on TikTok says, I hate Mill. I was starting to feel bad for her. Not anymore. Hate and love are the same thing. If I've learned anything in my 55 years, hate and love are the same it's a thing. Perfect circle. Yep. You can't have love without hate. The Tundra, Team Nanny Agatha, and Tanaya, Nanny Agatha just needs to get a restraining order against Mill. The Tundra scene. Mother and daughter right there. Beautiful scene. I take... <laughs> I can't. What? what? Um, you can't say these things. This is people... They're gonna... They, they watch this. What's they're, the thumbs they're up mean? They're going huh? to see this. What's that mean? That just means that people like the comment. Yeah. Uh, yeah I like it too. Look. I, I got nothing... I'm not gonna disrespect Mill's mother. Again, I was raised a certain way, different generation. You know, um... Wait, pause. Yeah. You just said something very inappropriate into the microphone. What I say? I don't recall nothing. And then you, you said gotta, you're not You gotta loosen your belt there, brother. Disrespect me. Okay, you go gotta ahead, loosen up a little. Thought. Back I... in the day, it was considered a compliment, okay? You walk to work, and you get catcalled. You got to work, and you'd, you'd, be, you'd feel and you'd a little safe. good. you'd be safe. You you'd you'd made it. You'd survived. <laughs> Uh, you people. Um, you people. I don't. Uh, wow. I don't disrespect uh, my elders. I don't. Um, this is a heated podcast. I don't. Uh, I'm having fun. You know. I don't know why your drawers are up to your nipples, but. Uh, <laughs> what does I that think, even I, mean? I think you need to loosen up a little bit. You know, like you know, with hey, two baby, guys here. Up. Two guys here. 
you know um you don't disrespect uh the elders and um no right, matter how no matter how nanny agatha will uh it's just weird i have to say something sometimes you can't it just can't go unsaid I think uh, you're pushing this PC agenda and all that. I'm not like, trying to push uh, anything. I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah, and I'm, I'm complimenting the mother and the daughter right here. Beautiful. But they didn't scene. ask. They didn't ask. They don't need to ask. They're getting a compliment. I don't, you think I fish for compliments? You think I walk out there with my fishing rod? No. All right, let's you get a on. nice compliment. We'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. How many broads do you think come into my shop and say, like, nice tattoos, nice hands? Do you talk to them? Of course I talk to them, but, the, and but, they, do but they... it's cordial. We don't, we don't do nothing more than that. You know, I got my morals. Like, like, I joke with Chelsea about her booty shorts and all that. She works for me. We're a family at the house. You know, we're not a... Uh, we're not crossing any line. We're not. It just ain't no Alabama, got, you know. She's got booty shorts. In, yeah, booty shorts in, in February. The, in you the know, pizzeria. we know why you're doing it, Chelsea. You know, but <laughs> it's okay. We we see it. It's okay. And you know, she's a big girl. She can handle that. You know what I'm saying? She knows. She knows we're all just being. We're protecting her. That's it. I don't. I don't think you're a bad guy. No, yeah, I, I don't think, think you're. You need, I don't think you're a bad, you I don't think you're a bit, a bad guy either. I think you're just very uh, forward. You gotta be honest with yourself. A lot of you got these. Uh, I'm not gonna say it, you know, because I your little podcast will get taken down. But there's just, a word for people. Nice. Yeah, yeah there's a word nice. for people who can't be themselves. I'm not trying to push any agenda or you anything. Just, just be to, yourself. Just to you be know? clear. Just trying to be cool. Uh, Amanda on YouTube says, Mill, you will have a whole new family in jail. Maybe Melissa will be your cellmate. Oh, boy. Hey, we joke about jail all the time. Uh, have you ever been? Can't, I can't recall. Ugh, why are you on a podcast? <laughs> There's just some things. Again, you don't talk about certain things. You don't talk about someone's mental <laughs> health. You don't talk about, look, my brother. <laughs> What's up? There's a certain, uh, you know, we can joke about certain things, but then there's certain things we can't joke yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I understand, you understand that. what I'm right. saying? We'll, we'll bring it back there's certain down. Things, we'll you know, bring it back I think, down. I think we need to move on. Uh, we need to move on. All right, we'll question. go to the next yeah. one. If you, if you, you could just tell me and I'll skip. Uh, Chickers <clears throat> on uh, TikTok says, Woohoo, 17,000 episodes left. I'm so invested. And then met to the haters. Thank you, Chickers. That was cool. And then Savannah adds on, I like having this added to my day to look forward to. That's very nice. Can I talk about Savannah's profile picture? Please don't. All right. And wait. Roxanne on YouTube says, Mill enjoys hurting people. Why would you tell someone their father doesn't like them and consider her a failure? She didn't even speak to the father directly. That's just mean for no reason. It's a lot of talk. I zoned out halfway through that whole thing. Um, All right. I appreciate Roxanne for for sending the the, the email. Um, <laughs> but um, you know, we all got our perspectives, you know, and uh, that's all I got to say about that one. Thanks for the comment, Roxanne. And Gritty Girl says, "Yes, Brian, call the cops now. Bust Mill." I know nothing about Brian. Um, if he's calling the cops, that's someone I don't want to be around. You don't like the cops? I don't like the cops unless certain protests are going on. Danielle says... How you doing, Danielle? Danielle says, if Mill did anything to Nanny Agatha, she needs to be set on fire. See, now Danielle, I was raised where a woman don't speak like that. Oh, you have a little bit of respect, and uh, you don't cross a certain line. You should cross the line. I don't even think a man should speak like that about someone. No, you've never, you've never set gender, someone on fire. Gender, I don't care about gender. Sal, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you actually have set someone on fire. Again, that's something... Uh, You're not going to speak about it? Nah. Yeah, I figured. Nah. Set myself on fire a few times. You going to condemn me for that? Maggie on TikTok I says... I love the pose, the, 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 the way the hair is... Uh, I'm sorry. This guy, he gets so uh, uptight when someone gets a compliment. God forbid. God forbid I say nice tie. If anything happens to Nanny Agatha, we ride at dawn. Hey, I like the motivation, you know. Again, people think, like, I'm going to get upset that, uh, you know, people are siding with, with one woman over the next. But Nanny Agatha's her mother. Uh, I forget how the, the commandment goes, but you, you're supposed to respect your parents. People are really concerned about Nanny Agatha. You don't have any... She's an old woman. 
You know, I, I'd be concerned with her if she went to meth food. You don't have any, like, you, you don't know anything about if she's all right or if Not she's okay. Not my business. You know, I do, you know, we, uh, I saw Mill Just get some. Just to help calm people down. Like, I'm, I'm concerned, too. Even I saw Mill about get her. some police tips that uh, they saw her here, they saw her there. So, they, so someone's seen her. I think if she's got dementia, she's like my uncle. Maybe she's standing in a library somewhere thinking it's 1920. You think, I, you you know, think, she's, think she's okay? okay. You think yeah, she's okay, I think though. she's fine, you know, because I, I, I'm raised with, with positivity. I don't go to the negative immediately. These are the reactions to something that the fans saw between... All beautiful people. Between Mill and Nanny Agatha. So Victoria said, so Mill is out of the will, right? From what I heard, yeah, she's not in Nanny Agatha's will. Christy says, finally, na Nanny saves the day. Marijo says, damn it, Mill. Leah says, I knew this B was going to take out Nanny A. We don't and call then women K bitches. says, I hope Miranda is on her way over there with good, ab with, with that abruptly, with how abruptly that phone disconnected. Leah, beautiful woman, but you don't call her. You don't call women bitches, uh, you know. That's 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 what. Uh, unless you're talking I about. Hear some unless of you're these, saying not to call people that, right? Right. You don't call someone a bitch, especially a woman. You don't call a woman a bitch. I hear a lot of these guys in my pizzeria come up blasting these little wains and all that, and uh, you hear these bitches and these hoes and all that. I don't like hearing that. So let's not call people bitches. All right. Do you want to say it like six more times? Well, I don't think she's listening. <laughs> Amy Cardenas says... How you doing, Amy? Why is Mill okay with all of this? I don't get it. She's a laid-back woman. She, she goes with the flow, and she tries to do what's best for her family. I don't even know what this is in context to. So, yeah. No, that, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. He's and AJ... Up questions out of context to try to get me. No, we're not trying to get you. It's just these are... They're reacting to stuff that was on the screen, so you don't watch the show. You, don't, you told me you don't watch TV. Uh, yeah, I don't watch. Well, I don't watch much TV. I watch old movies, you know. Yeah, uh, and then AJ <clears throat> is back in the comments again. He said, "I can't wait until these two figure out these calls are recorded." Yeah, from uh, you know, you don't make us. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. You know, uh, I don't know what they're saying on the phone call for this comment to be uh to well, be out there. You're familiar with this as like an old school guy, mm -hmm. like. You, you don't you, there's some things you just wouldn't say Eggs, yeah 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 we don't uh you know if uh if one of my boys calls the pizzeria we say oregano we uh there's certain buzzwords and keywords that we use you know um yeah uh recorded calls uh it makes me antsy to see something like that that's gonna be it for our comments for this week uh how did you feel going through all of that i think uh i got no hate for no one um i think they're all uh most of these people are beautiful people they uh look like they're happy they look like they got families they look like they're they're enjoying themselves do you have anything you want to plug uh come to amanda's kitchen uh uh the the, the location will be linked below and all that that's my pizzeria named after my my late wife uh and uh, try not to be so uptight like this guy. You know, he's a good guy though. He's a good guy though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, he's uh, you gotta take that test though. Yeah. You you don't have to do that many years. Okay. You do like twenty years or whatever. You're still a young guy. I I see the way you hold your cup, and um, you get that pension. You know that you know you gotta go in a snowstorm here and there. But that's over time. You said you that's knew like someone who was a firefighter there. for five years. How how come they were only a firefighter for five years? Uh, back in the day, there were there were certain things about race that you didn't do. Um, I'm okay, not going to go into it. Yeah, I'm not going to go into it. Okay, all right. Uh, I want to thank the fans for watching these past four episodes. Uh, you've been absolutely amazing in the comments. We're going to keep reading them. Uh, thank you guys for taking this journey with us. Anything? Any last words? We're ending it, right? Yeah, we're ending it. We're ending it. All right. All right bye, everybody.